there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a video on quite an important topic, uh, a topic that's being covered in the international newspapers uh, and particularly in the UK at the moment uh, and this is the, uh, the, the, the furore concerning Facebook. Um, the major spokesman in the United Kingdom at the moment is uh, an ex-deputy Prime Minister who was in league with uh, David Cameron, part of the Conservative Party. His name is Sir Nick Clegg. So uh, Clegg is the, uh, the house-cleaning uh, aficionado for Facebook in the United Kingdom. And what I'm actually trying to do today is deliver a message to uh, everybody in the United States, everybody in the Americas, Everybody in uh, Asia Pacific, everyone in Europe, uh, the United Kingdom in particular, anyone that holds a Facebook account or has ever had a Facebook account. And the reason for this is the following. Certain information has come to light, which was no major secret, but is now becoming broadcast made, uh, uh, mainly in the uh, mainstream media, concerning the criminal behavior of Facebook, its data collection network, and it's working with the United States government, the Pentagon, initially to begin what's called an ontological data collection point on what's called designated targets. The designated targets that the, uh, uh, the Pentagon, the government, the CIA chose were you. You, in fact, were the designated target. So, let's turn the clock back prior to 2004, prior to the launch of Facebook. What if I said to you, prior to 2004, prior to February the 4th, 2004, there was an active, ongoing, DARPA, government, Pentagon-sponsored project in the United States for the collection of data on all individuals. So this was a CIA, NSA, uh, global, covert government agenda to collect data on you on, on, on every conceivable and imaginable platform possible. Now, let's just say, for example, this name, LifeLog, that the Defense uh, Research Program Agency uh, had put together was actually offered to you uh, as being part of a government program. How many of you would have actually assigned or signed up to it? Not many. If I was to tell you that the whole rationale behind the, uh, the life log program was to capture data on all aspects of your, your daily life, your weekly life, and all your associated comings and goings. So not only your emails, not only your photographs, not only your likes and dislikes, but on all connected individuals uh, within your family and group environment. If that had been marketed by the United States government or the CIA, how many of you would have signed up to it? I argue not many. So this is the criminal activity that has been perpetrated on you. LifeLog, which was run by the Pentagon and the CIA and DARPA, was officially closed down on February the 4th, 2004. That's 02042004 for anyone interested in numerology and what's called Solomonic Kabbalistic numerology. What is very, very interesting, on the very same day, February the 4th, 2004, Facebook was incorporated with the CEO being uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Now, Zuckerberg has many, many connections with China, and he has many, many connections now through his wife. I think her name is Pamela, or is it Priscilla Chang? Uh, through uh, through these, this family, this family tree into China. The question, though, that we beg to ask you is, why won't the Chinese allow Facebook into China? Why was it actually now uh, a problem for the Chinese? Were the Chinese aware that designated targets were being captured through the expanded facility of Facebook to not only monitor you through the, the camera facility on your laptop, 
computer or other device. Not only was it then possible through the microphone on all of these devices to collect audio on what's called the designated target, which was you, not only was the GPS function facilitated to track you in real time, but other ongoing facilities were were designated to be program, programmed into the Facebook connection so that every waking, sleeping, living minute of you could be con co collected for the surveillance of you, your family and those associated with you. So why I'm bringing this to your attention uh, at the moment is that the tech giants are all working in conjunction with each other. Facebook, Google, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Amazon, these big tech companies are all eating out of the same bowl and are all controlled by a democratic, secret, covert, deep state cabal which are there simply to take dominant control over the individual and basically socialize, communize the entire uh, human ontological project, which is you. They're trying to take away from you all the individuality, all the individual nationality, and blend it into some type of gruel soup only fit for a communist or socialist dictatorship. Now, what I'm asking you to do, I'm trying to build an army here. For all of those who've listened to the previous videos, uh, the ones particularly concerning the payment of debt, um, what I'm trying to do here is suggest in this video, and please pass it to anyone else that you think might have had a Facebook account, I am trying to build now an army, an army of people, an army of people who are willing to come together in what's called a class action, or as they call it in Europe or the UK, a group action lawsuit primarily aimed against Facebook. Zuckerberg has a projected net worth of around about... I think it's 80 billion, let's say. I think the entire market value at current levels of uh, Zuckerberg's Facebook is around 800 billion. Uh, Bezos with Amazon, working with the CIA, his collective company worth, it's around about 1 trillion. So his net worth is probably a fair percentage of that. Also, we have uh, Sergey Brin, uh, who is the, the CEO of um, Alphabet Inc., which is the parent company of Google. Yeah? All of these, these tech giants, all these uh, oligarch CEOs of these companies have amazing wealth individually and corporately, but they've all been involved in criminal activity by their aims and occupations of spying on residents of the countries in which they operate, which is totally against the law. So what I'm pr providing to you now is information that we can come together, we can create a platform and we can go after these tech giants and the individuals involved in it. Very, very similar to the class action lawsuits from the 70s and the 80s against tobacco companies like uh, Philip Morris, um, British American Tobacco, uh, the big medical pharma malpractice suits that have been brought in the past. People in the United States are a lot more familiar with these type of, uh, of, of schedules. So the, the date for the incorporation of Facebook, February the 4th, 2004, the same date for the incorporation, uh, sorry, the, 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 the designated close down of LifeLog on the same day, this 24 is obviously 2 Four two o four. The number reads both ways. Um, this is a part reference to what's called Psalms twenty four, and uh, to do with jurisdiction. So have a look at there because the the Masonic, Masonic Kabbalistic numerology and the dates on which they operate is a very very important crucial uh, date for closing things down and opening things up. So whether, as you can see from the sign behind, uh, you. I've been into a McDonald's, whether you have been uh, in, uh, involved in Facebook, whether you have contracted in any capacity with Amazon, whether you've got a Twitter or Google account, all of these facilities are under the same umbrella. They're all very, very large corporate entities that have abused their position 
and abused you. So let's get together. Let's make some difference. Uh, please follow the link below. Click uh, for subscribe. Click like. But follow the link. And we would like to ask anyone interested to just put FB, I'm in. So Facebook, I'm in. What we will do then is we will collate and collaborate all those emails and we will start to prepare a class action lawsuit because, as the Trump administration has said, as Q himself or itself has said, we are the news now. We have to start taking it into our own hands and becoming the news. So we don't wait for um, Congress or the Senate to bring criminal actions against these, these tech giants. We will go after them ourselves and the idea or the, 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 the pot or the, the pot at the end of the rainbow is these assets that are held there and are yours by right because Facebook, for example, was created and, and funded on taxpayer money. It was set up, it was researched, it was put together on, uh, with taxpayer money through the Pentagon until it was then handed over as a, a poison chalice to you via the kind services of Mark Zuckerberg. So subscribe, follow the link, send us an email so that we can do you a favour and do everyone that's ever been entangled in this organisation a favour too. Thank you, Peter of England, signing off.